Bucharest. It's the little things, flower shops on every corner, for hello, for goodbye, for welcome, for your welcome, for bine ați venit, for it's an absolute pleasure, and for thank you, for I love you. It's gift bags and wrapping paper at every grocery checkout. It's the fumes of gasoline lingering amidst the general smell of pollution, mixed with cigarettes, mixed with cigars, mixed with pure, sweet, and delicious B.O. All blanketed with the strongest perfume from Paris. It's walking on the street at night with no fear of harassment or someone revealing a firearm. It's being a woman in all one's femininity and that being okay. It's being a man who loves and hugs and that being okay. It's having coffee with your closest friend and actually having a conversation. It's a world with no agenda because all roads lead to nowhere anyway. That's why people escape to where you came from. It's parks full of the elderly watching grandchildren play. It's trams, buses, cars, motorcycles, mopeds, bicycles, and the metro. It's streets that you would rather just walk. Because every piazza leads you to a place that you'd like to be. It's a city of theaters, of universities, of libraries, of the most infamous nightclubs in Europe, in a language that is secret because all Romanians speak English fluently anyway. It's private, like Eastern Christian Orthodoxy, where the priests conduct the entire liturgy behind an ornate painted golden gate. That private sacred space that the packed church of parishioners would never get to see. Private, like how they, we, don't talk about the past. It's days spent wandering. It's nights spent dreaming. It's a place where things just happen. Dynamic, immediate, and perpetually young. It's underground, brought to light. And it's anyone's native, expat, diaspora's playground. <laughs>